big game this week. Uh, obviously, coming back home on Wednesday night against Central Michigan, good football team. Uh, I think first and foremost, very proud of the guys uh, for just having a good attitude, man, regrouping. Uh, obviously, it was very difficult, but, you know, we challenged the guys when we got together on Friday uh, to make sure that, you know, we got to move forward full speed ahead and uh, just proud of the attitude, proud of the guys uh, regrouping and, and uh, obviously just finished our second uh, day of practice uh, in preparation uh, for the game on Wednesday night. And, uh, just like where the guys are at. Again, can't emphasize enough, just uh, proud of the attitude, the mindset of regrouping and, uh, and moving forward because we've got a good football team here uh, in Central Michigan coming in on Wednesday night. And, uh, gotta gotta have a great week of preparation here um, in order to have a chance to uh, to get a win here on Wednesday night. We'll open up for questions. Yeah, coach, I mean, you kind of mentioned it. Um, I guess just, I mean, the past few days, I mean, you kind of talked about the mentality. Um, how hard is it to put a game like that kind of behind you guys and reset and, and refocus in these final two weeks? Well, we can't allow it to be. You know, we have, we gotta just keep looking ahead. We can't change anything that's happened. Uh, you know, in the rear view mirror. And so we got to look forward full speed ahead. And that's what, you know, challenge the guys on Friday. Uh, and, and I'm proud of the guys, you know, they're, they're the younger guys in our program are going to take the lead of uh, what our veterans doing. I've been proud of the veterans. Uh, and we got a lot left to play for. There's a lot left to be accomplished. And we just got to look forward. And, and really, that's just, uh, you know, a credit to those guys for approaching the practice field, and approaching the meetings uh, that way. And, and uh, you know, obviously had two good days so far. We got to just keep going. Yeah, and then I guess um, I know the big goal was obviously the, to get back to the MAC championship since the beginning of the year. Um, I mean, how do you evaluate the season kind of at, at this point now that that goal is kind of uh, out of reach for you guys? Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to do that yet. We have a lot of mm -hmm. left to play. All my energy, all my focus, all my effort is for our uh, for our players, uh, making sure we do the best uh, to put a game plan together, uh, to do all everything we can from a preparation standpoint to give ourselves, our guys, the best chance to go out there and have success. And um, you know, I'm going to give everything I have, every, every, everything I have to our uh, guys that have given everything to our program. And, and that's really all I can control right now. There'll be a time down the road uh, where we step back and uh, evaluate the whole picture. But right now, just, just concerned on things we can control. And, and uh, we still got a lot uh, left that we can accomplish here this season. Yeah. And obviously, bowl eligibility is still um, kind, of, kind of up for you guys to grab. Um, and there's only been a few teams in Ball State football history that have made it to back-to-back -back bowl games. Um, what would that mean to you just to, to kind of get back to that spot uh, this year? You know, especially right now, that's all we can control is how we finish the season. You know, we got two games left that are guaranteed together. Our focus is only on Central Michigan right now, and it's a good team. They're they're in the thick of it, and they're fighting, uh, you know, st still fighting. And, and uh, obviously, they got a good football team. Coach McElwain's done a good job there. And um, you know, all I'm concerned about for us is, you know, we got to play our, play our best brand of football on Wednesday night. And, you uh, and building the confidence necessary here in practice, you know, yesterday, today, uh, tomorrow. Um, you know, that's the only thing I'm concerned about right now. And, um, you know, getting a win on Wednesday night, that's the only focus. For sure. And then I guess the last thing for me, just kind of moving into the last two weeks and if there's a bowl game, um, you know, eventually these seniors are, are going to be gone from, from the program. I mean, how much of a balance is this, you know, trying to get some of the younger guys, maybe some reps in the past, in the next few weeks? Uh, we're trying to win. Uh, that's all that matters right now. Uh, you know, we've got injuries here and there. We've got guys that are banged up, bumps and bruises uh, all, all year long, every week. It's the same. You always got to do, you got, you got to make sure you have the next man up if that's the situation that presents itself. And so uh, just, just focused on winning. That's all, that's all that matters is, is uh, giving ourselves the uh, best opportunity to be successful on Wednesday night. Sure. That's all I got. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, coach, real quick. Central Michigan's got a couple of playmakers on um, and their their running back and their, their wide receiver. What kind of goes will go into I mean without getting into the game plan? Yeah. Uh, just well, just Lou, Lou Nichols is one of the best young running backs in this league. You know, he's been very consistent week in, week out. Uh, obviously they got weapons around him with Khalil Pimpleton, Jacory Sullivan. Um, you know, those guys are playing well. Obviously, they've got good weapons. They do a good job of mixing it up offensively, spreading the ball around. Um, we got to play good defense. You know, we saw a lot of these same guys a year ago and we had an opportunity to play against Central. Um, you know, defensively, they're a good football team. Um, you know, obviously, uh, you know, my hat's off to the job that, that Coach McElwain has done. And, and uh, for us, we got to make sure that we play good, sound, complete, um, you know, team football. We got to be, we got to play well in all phases in order to have, have, a, have an opportunity to win on Wednesday night. Um, and lastly, uh, it seems like the team has really been, like I said, putting emphasis on taking care of the ball um, the last 
last few weeks, um, just you know, especially with the early uh, season. Yeah, for us last week was tough because it was a little bit of that. You know, we won the turnover battle. We had a block punt, uh, and you know, obviously we didn't, we weren't successful enough on third down to stay on the field. We we missed some opportunities early in the game, so uh, we continue to emphasize that every day in practice. Uh, working on the turnover margin or turnover circuit, we do that every day to to emphasize ball security, to emphasize taking care of the ball, and uh, defensively trying to do a good job of stripping it and punching it out. And, uh, and then once we do that, obviously doing a good job of recovering it. So we work on those every single day. We'll continue to do that. Um, you know, obviously it's a goal every week to make sure we win the turnover margin. Thank you, Coach. Okay, thank you. Get this set up. All right, we'll open up for questions for Christian Albright. Yeah, I guess uh, just kind of take me through the past couple of days. I'm, I'm, what's kind of the mentality been like uh, around the facility after uh, the Northern game? Uh, you know, I mean, coming after a tough loss, it's always going to be always going to be tough to, you know, move on because uh, we know that's a game we we could have and should have won. But, you know, you got to move on and uh, just move our attention on to Central Michigan. So I feel like guys have done a great job of just coming ready to work still and uh, really putting that game behind us. Yeah, and I feel like all, all year, I mean, that's kind of – you guys kind of have that mentality, right? As soon as it's over, you, you kind of move on. Um, how much, I mean, was it more difficult maybe, you know, moving on from, from this one, knowing um, kind of the implications of it all? Yeah, for sure it was. You know, that, um, that's a, the reason a lot of us came back to uh, try and get back to Detroit. So um, losing and losing in the way that we lost, it was it was just tough. But, you know, we got a bunch of strong guys in this program that uh, we've been through a lot. So, you know, it's just another, another bump in the road. Yeah, for sure. And then uh, two weeks left and, and bowl eligibility is still um, up for grabs for you guys. Um, I mean, what what's what's kind of the, the focus these last two weeks or what do you guys kind of want to leave behind, especially a lot of you seniors who, who came back this year? You know, just really just finish on a strong note. You know, we can uh, we can still have a great season, even without going to the MAC championship. We know we can um, win these next two and go to a good bowl game and then win uh, back to back bowl games for the first time in program history as well. So we know we can still finish strong and there's still history to be made around here. So. Yeah, and um, I mean, obviously, I, I think there's only been a handful of teams who've gone to back-to-back -back bowl games, um, and none, none have won it. Obviously, um, what would that mean to you guys to to, to get bowl eligible here again in, in the next two weeks or so? You know, that would mean a lot, man. We're uh, we're just trying to leave a legacy, and like I said, just just really finish out strong. And I know none of us are ready for it to be over after these next two weeks. So we're really just focused on winning these next two, and and then just going and having a great time at the bowl and getting another win. Sure. That's all I got for you. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. Thanks, Christian. We will uh, open it up for questions for Cody. Yeah, I guess uh, just take me through the last uh, few days around the facility. Um, what's kind of the mentality uh, been like with the team um, following that Northern game? Um, I mean, obviously, we wanted to win that game just like we want to win every game. Uh, our, you know, our initial goal coming into this season was to win the MAC championship. Um, and that's, you know, not an option for us anymore. So now our goals are moving to get to bowl eligibility, win a bowl game and go back to back bowl champions wherever we end up going. Sure. I mean, I guess I know, I mean, since I, I think last season ended that the MAC championship or getting back there was kind of the goal. Um, how hard is it kind of how hard has it been to kind of reset and reevaluate those goals over the past few days? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, following that Northern Illinois game, I mean, that was a hard pill to swallow. I mean, that's a tough way to lose a football game. You're winning with three seconds to go, and then now you lost the game and you're out of the championship. So that was hard. That was hard for um, our team, our coaches, you know, a lot of our, us older guys that made that decision to come back to chase that goal. Um, but then again, I mean, it's just like any other loss. You got to, you know, take it, learn from it, and move on, and get ready for the next week. Sure. And and for you and for some of these senior guys who, who come back, I mean, what do you expect to see um, these next uh, two regular season games? Um, I mean, we just expect to see, you know, nothing change. We come out and play with high intensity, high in effort, um, you know, and play to win these next two games, like I said, and get, you know, get a spot to go to a bowl game and end up somewhere and, you know, finish off the season on a strong note and, uh, you know, make the season worth it. For sure. And then um, I guess, I mean, not many teams in, in program history have made back to back bowl games. Um, what would that mean to you guys to, to get bowl eligible, eligible here in the next two weeks? Um, I mean, I think that that just goes to show all the hard work, hard work we've put in. I mean, when we you know, when I personally got here in 2016, um, the program was nowhere near where it is now. Um, you know, my first year of playing, we went two and ten and just gradually got better from there. 
and you know now we're in the spot now where we come into a season and we expect to be in the MAC championship and uh, I think that that's you know that's a uh, it's a positive you know goal to have coming into every se every uh, year and a realistic goal that we had um, and we just fell short of that this year um, but like I said I mean we can still turn out have a great season um, end up you know bowl champion and leave this program going in the right direction for the next couple of years. For sure. And then for, for you guys, for the seniors who are going to be leaving after this year, um, what do you hope to kind of leave behind here in the next uh, few weeks? Uh, like I said, I, you know, I'd like to leave just, you know, a standard that we set over the last five, six years, however long we've been here, um, you know, of playing, you know, Ball State football, uh, making it a winning program and a tough program to compete against and, you know, be in the talks for the MAC championship year in and year out.